FightSaga.com here with the great Oscar De La Hoya. First of all, Oscar, uh, as a Washingtonian myself, just want to thank you for bringing such a great product to Washington, D.C. Long overdue. First, I have to ask an obvious question. Um, are you planning any comebacks in the new year? You're looking great now. I mean, give us the, give us the inside scoop. Fight, give FightSaga.com. Any comebacks planned for Oscar De La Hoya? Unfortunately, no comeback fight for me. Um, I, I have to be truthful with you is that I do wake up in the morning, I do go run five, six miles, I do go to the gym and start hitting the heavy bag, jump the rope. I've even actually gone into the ring and spar. And I feel great. There's no doubt about it, I feel great, but the next morning, I can't even wake out of, get out of bed, so uh, that's a sign of, you know, I've, I've been in this game for a while, I'm no Bernard Hopkins where I can stay in the, the ring for as long as I'm 50. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's in the whole league of his own where he's taking care of himself and he's done the right thing. Um, I've been in some good fights. Uh, my, my body can't handle it anymore. So I'm, for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, you know what, no, no fighting for me. Oscar, you put on a great show in terms of you have competitive fights coming Saturday. Amir Khan, Lamont Peterson, uh, you put one of your guys in, Seth Mitchell, who I've worked with, help prepare for fights against a tough guy like Timor Brigamore. Yeah. A lot of promoters wouldn't do that to their right. young fighters. What do you see in Seth that makes you think he's ready for a jump well, like that? We want competitive fights. Look, Golden Boy Promotions uh, promotes uh, the, the top fighters today. Um, we're not, we don't want to take it easy on nobody. We, we, we want them to learn, we want them to grow, we want to test them. I'm not going to put them in with uh, Klitschko. I'm not going to put them in with the top of the top at this moment, but there is a fine line that, that, that you have to deal with here because I, as a fighter, want to see the best fights happen. But also at the same time, I'm a promoter who has to build the fighters, who has to uh, put on the best shows. Uh, make sure my guy wins, you know. I have that mentality also, but at the same time, I have that fighter mentality. So that's what makes, that's that's why it's so wonderful to be a promoter is because I understand what the fans want, but at the same time, I understand what the fighter wants. I understand uh, what the right thing to do is. And that is to test our fighters. Test our fighters to a, to a point where, you know, hey, they're, they're gonna be in a fight. And who's going to win? Everybody's going to win. Mm -hmm. uh, one more question about Seth Mitchell. Little known guy coming out the amateurs, 10 fights, one of the few guys with less amateur fights than myself. You took a chance on this guy. What do you see in Seth Mitchell coming out the amateurs that made you take a chance on a guy like that? Well, it's the, uh, the, the, exp the, the ability to, to, uh, to absorb all that, you know, uh, all the... Uh, Everything he's been learning in the gym, the fights that we've been putting in front of him, he's been passing with flying colors. Uh, the fact that he's very athletic, uh, a strong fighter, a fast fighter, he gets it, you know, he goes in there and fights as hard as he can. Um, he has the ability to be uh, up there uh, as a world champion one day, but this is a test. This is a test on Saturday night, and, uh, you know, will he pass that test? I don't know. I hope he does, but I don't know. But uh, you know, I was uh, I was taking that chance on him because uh, I saw I saw talent and potential there. Okay. Thanks a lot, Oscar. I appreciate right, you taking your time. Thanks,